Hello everyone and welcome to Skillcapped. I'm Notorious Dub and today I'm going to be going over my favorite agent in the game and how to play her on one of her strongest maps in the game, Viper on Bind. Now Viper has consistently been put down in tier lists and in pro play pick rate, but she's always had a decent place on the map Bind because her one way, area control and post plant ability completely break the map and change the way that it's played in its entirety. So in this video, I'm going to be going over all of the one ways, lineups and uses for your standard abilities, and the best post plant lineups to use for your snake bite. To guarantee that you pull out those dangerous rounds towards the end. But as always, before we get into the meat of the video, we have to get started with our question of the day. And today I'm curious who you guys think is the best overall agent in the game right now. Personally, I would probably say Rage, just because there's so much you can do with the agent that feels like you can always impact the game more and more the better you get on the agent. And you pretty much have good ways to be useful on every map and every side of the bomb. And that's not to mention a Rage playing outside of a tight funnel we would have to walk through means I probably want to avoid that area at all costs throughout the game. But I'm sure you guys have a ton of different opinions than me, and that's exactly why I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments down below who you think the best agent is in the game right now. All right, now Viper's best known for her insane one ways that you can put in places that no other agent can. And you can consistently pop and repop that one way to abuse it throughout the entire round. And this one way for showers is the most broken and overpowered one way in the entire game. To execute this, simply make your way on top of the box in the corner outside of the entrance to bathrooms. From here, you're going to maneuver yourself by looking straight down and moving your body to be right at the corner of the box where the two sides meet. If you're having trouble here, you can press the walk key or crouch. Both will decrease your movement speed, making it easier. From here, you're going to aim at the top right corner of the red tile to the left of the one at the tip. And from there, it's just a left click. And voila, a one way that you can see the feet of the enemy perfectly underneath all the way to the back. And if we swap sides, we notice that the enemies really can't see out into the site at all. But the problem is, if you manage to get a kill with this in game, the enemies are going to be avoiding this area like the plague. So your short one way is going to end up being the standard one way you're going to throw on most rounds in most games. And this lineup is actually extremely simple. Start by making your way into the corner of the cubby on site beside the wood box. From here, aim at the corner of this metal piece that sits on top of the corner of the wall above the teleporter. And from there, a left click lands the orb directly on the corner of the box outside of a short, giving you a great peek at the legs of enemies trying to run down a short and completely blocking their line of sight into the bomb site. That is, unless they tuck all the way into the corner of the short cubby, and even then they barely have vision and are risking getting absolutely obliterated by anyone holding the angle. And the final standard one way you're going to be using is this long one way that almost no one is using currently. And this one way is a little tricky, but all you want to do is walk directly into the standalone plank in the cubby outside of long. You're going to aim at the left side threshold for where the flat part of the wall meets the curved part. And aim to the right until you get to the darkest shade of wood just before the threshold ends and turns into a wall. And a jump right click here will lob the orb up into the air and give you a perfect one way to play from elbow or back sight with. And it cuts off a ton of the enemy's peak opportunities, forcing them to try and take the sight from hookah, which is a much weaker take. But remember, if you're serious about improving, then go to skillcapped.com to unlock our hyper improvement system that will teach you how to win more gunfights, master your agent, and so much more. It's also backed by our rank improvement guarantee, so you really have nothing to lose. So come join over half a million satisfied members of Skillcapped. Improve that KDA and get the rank you've always wanted at skillcapped.com. Link is in the description below. But now that the default one ways are out of the way, let's move on to the different smokes that you're going to be using to execute bomb sites before we get into the post plant lineups. Now, first of all, Viper's shower take is very strong, and in my opinion, Viper is the only way a shower execute is actually viable. Now, to start with, your smoke is very simple when coming from showers because the most dangerous area is going to be heaven, and if there's not an enemy there at first, they're probably gonna retake from there. So simply aim at the black crack at the top of the tower and aim up until you get in line with the blinking red dot. And there you can just run and throw the smoke from pretty much anywhere at the biphase barrier on attack and it will land in the heaven area. And the main piece of utility that's going to protect your shower take and extend to getting you pressure on the back site is the curtain that you're going to be throwing, which you're going to throw from the area inside the biphase barrier. And the main thing you're looking for here is to look at your mini map and make sure that it goes on the left side of the box on the site. That way you take control of as much of the area as possible while also blocking that peak from the left side of the triple box. And feel free to move this curtain a little bit to the left to where 
wherever you're comfortable with if you like that peak on the left side of the box because the more room you leave open the more difficult the initial take will be but the more room that you have controlled the easier the hold will be after the plant but then we have the execute from short so first of all starting with the smoke this is a very simple smoke to land on top of the truck to cover heaven and give you a one way for back sight if you choose to use it that way simply line up along the right wall of the biface barrier threshold on the right side of short and aim up until you get to the trim at the top of the heaven tower aiming at the corner here and left clicking will send the orb flying and it will land perfectly on top of the truck and if you're not using the smoke you're probably going to want to drop your poison orb on top of the bomb that way your snake bites are more effective on the post plant and then we have the short curtain and the beauty of this curtain is that it covers enough area to make it where you don't necessarily need your poison orb for the sight take and you can save it for the post plant here you're going to line up on the right side of short before the round starts throw your curtain here where it blocks the cubby on sight and goes over the top of the truck this way you're going to take care of a problem angle in cubby and the smoke will rise up with the height change and block the line of sight from heaven as well as the rest of sight and this curtain is one of the main things that makes viper viable on this map because she makes it taking a sight so much easier but let's move on to executing out of hookah now hookah is very dangerous to take control of and very dangerous to execute out of because you have to drop and during that drop you're vulnerable and right after the drop you're vulnerable so our utility relies on isolating the dangerous angles immediately and makes it where you can keep all of the angles in front of you so you're less vulnerable now the biggest problem area when coming out of hookah is elbow and to smoke this off you're going to tuck yourself in the corner of the front box outside of hookah aim at the second long piece of wood that hangs off the roof of hookah and from there aim upwards until you get about one third of the way up this cloud in the sky and this is actually a super forgiving smoke so don't stress it too much but a left click from that position tosses the orb straight into the exit of elbow and the curtain you're going to want to use in conjunction with that is going to be taking care of cubby and all of the back sight and ct peak from the right side now to throw this curtain just tuck yourself into the wall on the right side of the short walk up to hookah and look at your mini map here throw your curtain where it cuts off the box right behind tube on sight and when you combine both of these together you take away the immediate threat from the drop down out of hookah from elbow and keep most of the angles that you have to worry about to your left so you can make sure the fight stays in front of you and finally we have the long execute and long is usually much easier to take the bomb site from so the smoke you're going to want to throw here is going to be done by tucking yourself in the corner of the extended wall on the bottom of the long walk up and from there aiming right in the center of the main tower that's going to be in front of you sticking up above the wall from there you're going to look upwards until you get in line with the top corner of the longest jagged sheet metal that sticks out of the roof and when you left click from that position you throw a beautiful smoke that the enemy has no chance to peek out of quickly taking care of that elbow once again and the curtain you're going to be throwing once again is going to be used to isolate angles and the way you're going to throw this curtain is to walk up right in front of the fountain deep long and in the middle of that wall or just near the door you can aim your curtain to go just over the top of and cut right across the side of the tube this way you're going to be taking care of hookah cubby and ct peaks all at the same time but you do give yourself a tiny gap with this smoke in the middle of tube to fight through so it makes both sides of the wall way less unpredictable on the post plant even though it makes that initial sight take just a little bit more dangerous with the enemy being able to peek from cubby through the bottom of tube but finally let's go over the lineups for viper biggest strength in the game post plant now first off we're going to cover the default plant on a site because that's usually where you're going to be playing around for this lineup just tuck yourself into the corner just inside the threshold of the right by face barrier of short and here you're going to aim up to the trees and leaves just above you and there will be a big split in the big leaf in the middle that you can see a little bit of yellow leaf right behind and from there you just want to move your crosshair to the left until you get to where the light hits the next leaf with this just make sure to keep in mind that it takes about four seconds to land so when it hits that two beeps per second mark start throwing your poisons and you deny the plant for the last 16 seconds of the round next we have the snake bite lineups for the shower plant locations and these are some of my favorite snake bites to throw because it generally takes a while for the enemy to finish a showers retake and actually tap the bomb but with the plant by triple box you want to stand on the corner of the rug closest to the attacker's entrance to showers and aim at the first corner that sticks up from the bottom on the right and this one takes about three seconds to land but keep in mind there is another plant right outside of showers that you might want to take care of and from here you can just get yourself where you can barely see through the crack of the shower's door and just walking through it from there makes it where it lands right on the corner of where you would be planning but when doing a shower's plan keep in mind you want your team to flood out and take control of the site while you sit back and play post plant inside of showers if you all sit in showers the round is usually lost and finally we have the default plant on the b-bomb site and on the b-bomb site enemies typically take a while to retake and they always push long when their teammates are defusing so for that we have a super safe lineup that takes us all the way back to fountain at the bottom of B-Long. Here you want to get in the back right corner of the fountain closest to the biface barrier. From there, aim up with your snake bite active in your hand and you can use the dot at the top of your HUD above your
of your snake bite to line it up right in between the two silos on the furthest left. With that dot right at the top point that they meet, you'll have a perfect molly to take care of the default plant, and that frees you up to walk back up long to finish off the round, or go through hookah to finish off the round because both of those peaks are going to be somewhat unpredictable because the enemy thought they cleared those angles already. But remember, if you want to improve, win more gunfights, and get the rank you've always wanted, then check out skillcapped.com. Link is in the description below. But overall, what do you guys think about Viper right now? And do you want to see her played more or made better to fit the meta? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notification bells on because we here at Skillcapped have a ton more comprehensive premium guides coming your way that you're going to want to stay up to date with so you can stay ahead of the pack. As always, I want to thank you for spending this little bit of your day with us. And I'm Notorious Dub, signing off.